all the time, all the time. Boko, 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 say, yes, yes, boko, say, yes, yes, boko, say, yes, yes. This is Congestina Achiang in her present state, the one-time darling of all corporates and the sporting fraternity now mentally incapacitated, wallowing in destitution. She lives on the outskirts of the city centre in Lucky Summer Estate. This old building houses Kunji's one-bedroomed cubicle. The one-time boxing hero who was dreaded by all her would-be opponents is now living in a deplorable state. Nothing to show for a sportswoman who has even bagged the world champion's title. That combined with a faded career is too much for her to bear. Engaging her in an interview was not easy. She would, in the middle of the interview, lose it and wade off into her own world, mumbling things known only to her. It's like you don't know what you're doing, you know? Given that we had been warned by her sister Caroline, we had to be patient, first listening to her for one hour without a camera as she showed off her four belts. But that all seems to have faded, and from her talk, clearly she is not in her normal state of mind. How can you lose your mind? You are a grown-up person. And eventually, she gets around to talking about the sport that has brought her so much fame and so much pain in life. She says she is the Queen of Africa and even recently burnt her gloves. Her mental problems first cropped up early last year when she was taken to Madari Mental Hospital for treatment, and clearly she has not healed from that state. Congestina now risks eviction from this one-bedroomed house as she has been unable to pay 2,000 shillings monthly rent for the last four months. All the time the sister is watching. That is what she goes through daily, taking care of her elder sibling. Caroline Achiang says it is very tough. Despite not boxing professionally, she says she is still a moving weapon and a very dangerous one.